What's going on, YouTube? I'm just here to tell you that I'm not only going to do stuff on Assassin's Creed. I'm going to be showing you that I do more than that. I, I'm hoping to do more reviews and stuff, but today I have two videos. You should see I already showed one today. Um, this is going to be a comparison of the PlayStation Vita and the 3DS. Not Excel, just 3DS. I'm going to be showing you how powerful the PlayStation Vita really is. On um, the PlayStation Vita, I'm going to be playing Killzone Mercenary. I'm going to just be quiet and let you watch the thing. Sorry for the light. It's kind of in the way here. I mean, look at how brutal this stuff is. Look how good the graphics are. I mean, this is just a really powerful gaming system for handheld. Just don't have it out there enough. I mean, some people haven't even heard of the PlayStation Vita. And I mean, I really kind of want it to be out there and stuff. I mean, it feels just like a console. I mean, there's Uncharted Golden Abyss. There's this game, obviously. I mean, those are the two main sellers out there. I mean, just look at the beautiful graphics and everything. It's a really cool game. Yeah, the story mode is a little short on this. But, let's see here. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm kind of trying to get used to this. But anyway, I guess that's enough for this part. I'll show you how big of a difference it is. Um, on the 3DS here, I'm playing Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I don't know how well you're seeing this here. I guess it's okay. I mean, yeah, I jump there, but only if you're on a ledge. That you, that's the only way you can jump in this game. I mean, seriously. A game with all this craziness in it, all this adventure, you can't even jump unless you do that. You have to be on a ledge. You can't jump anywhere else. I guess anywhere else would work too, but I mean the graphics look, eh, they're okay, but I mean this is apparently like a m amazing game for the 3DS. But w comparing it to what I just showed you, the PlayStation Vita, I mean this doesn't even compare. I mean, I can't say it enough, but PlayStation Vita just is like the best. I mean the graphics are really clear. Um. The game performance is so much better. I mean, I'm just throwing rocks. I mean, I guess it's not a fair comparison because this isn't a really a first-person shooter game. FPS, whatever you want to call it. But still, this is like the top game. I've played Modern Warfare 3 on the DS. And really, it's really, really lame game. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with that. I mean, there's Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation for the PlayStation Vita. And there's um, Assassin's Creed 2 for the 3DS. I mean, for the normal DS, which I just play on this. But it's really, it's not comparing to the PlayStation Vita. It's not an open world or anything. But I won't go into deep comparison with deep, whatever you want to call it into that. I mean, now I'll just show you, like, difference in the looks PlayStation Vita it's probably not going to be fitting in your pocket anytime soon so I wouldn't be looking for that um, it, it does fit in your pocket um, for me it doesn't really mind it doesn't really bother me but some people don't really like it in their pocket but I don't know of course the DS is going to be more pocketable 
And maybe some of you right now are thinking, why are you making why are you making a comparison of some really old systems? Well, I do not have the 2DS because I think it's absolutely worthless. You can't even close it, so it's not pocketable anymore, which kind of ruins the whole idea of a handheld system that you can bring with you everywhere. Um, PlayStation Vita Slim doesn't have as good of a screen. But anyway, back to comparison. Um, this has two screens. That's that. I have to give props to um, Nintendo for that. This only has one screen, but it just looks way better. It's just way, way better. I mean, it's just really something else to show you here. I mean, look at that. Whoops. I mean, the colors changing and everything. It just looks way better. Um, but now, in terms of prices, you can probably find this right about now for um, like a hundred bucks, probably, because it's an older system. Let's see here. This guy, I got mine for a hundred and thirty. Um, it ranges from like 130 to 150, but it's definitely worth the 30 to 50 dollars more than the 3DS in terms of buying one. Um, the only downside to the PlayStation Vita is their SD card. Not, it's not even an SD card. It's their own proprietary card. These things are pricey. They've gone down now. I mean, Best Buy had a sale, and their 8 gig was $12, which you might be thinking, wow, that's really good. But their, but their um, 32 gig is 80 bucks. $80. You go to Best Buy for um, an SD card, 32 gig, hmm, let's see here, $22. Look at that difference. I mean... Nobody's gonna pay 80 bucks for a 32 gigabyte card. I just find that crazy. I don't know what Sony was thinking when they did that. Um, but you you can't just choose this one because of one bad part of this. I mean, there's two joysticks on this. There's one on here. The arrow pad is so much better than this little arrow pad. Um, there's the A, Y, A, I mean the X, A, Y, B buttons on here, triangle, circle, X, square, I mean, they're, they're pretty similar. Um, pretty similar, not much difference here. I, I just prefer the PlayStation Vita, it's just like way more powerful, and I definitely recommend this over the 3DS. I know I've seen other reviews of people just going with the 3DS instead, but I I've got to give it to the Vita. Well, tell me what you think in the comments. Like, subs comment, and subscribe. See ya.